Hi members and welcome back to Virtually BGCMC. Miss Nikki here and today I'm going to teach you how to make some homemade popsicles using a popsicle mold. Don't worry, if you don't have this, you can use small three ounce cups, but we're going to make three ingredient popsicles today with coconut milk, strawberries, and pineapple. So let's get into it. To make your homemade popsicles, as I said, you'll need coconut milk and fresh fruit. I'm using strawberries and pineapples, but this recipe is completely customizable. The other thing that you're going to need besides a popsicle mold is a blender. So with parent permission and supervision, go ahead and put your fruit and your coconut milk into your blender. You might need to chop up your strawberries, pineapples, or whatever fruit you choose first before you put it in your blender. Again, you must have parent permission and supervision in order to go ahead and chop up those fruits because you'll be using a knife and a cutting board for that. Always be sure to wash your fruit before you use it. It's very important to make sure we have nice clean fruit so that it doesn't affect the taste of our popsicles. So I'm gonna say that's about enough and now I'm gonna take my can of coconut milk. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And pour it in. Then what you're going to do is you're going to place your blender on the base and start it. But before we start, you cannot forget that you must, must, must put your top on your blender. Here I have my blended mixture of coconut milk, pineapple, and strawberries. And now I'm going to use my popsicle mold and I'm gonna just go ahead and pour this into my molds. When you're using a mold or cups for this recipe, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you don't fill it up all the way. As you can see, I'm leaving just a little bit of space for my popsicles. This is because they are going to freeze and expand a little bit when they do so. So in order for it not to go above the line and to freeze nicely, I'm gonna leave just a little bit of space in my mold and this will make it so that I don't have any problems later on while trying to take this out. You can also see that I'm getting a little bit of a mess. That's all right. We're just going to go ahead and take a paper towel and clean that up in a little bit. So now we have our perfectly filled mold and before we place the lid and the popsicle sticks in the mold, as I said, we're going to want to clean up any mess that I have left over. I'm just taking a paper towel and cleaning that up. And then to finish this off, I'm going to go ahead and take my lid. Now, if you were using cups instead of a mold, what you will do is you will put saran wrap on the top. And finally, we're gonna take our popsicle sticks and I'm going to push them through the holes. I'm not pushing them all the way down. Again, if I push them all the way down, then what's gonna happen is they're going to hit the bottom of the mold and it's gonna, again, be really, really, really difficult to get this out. But you want your popsicle stick to sit about three quarters of the way into your popsicle. I'm just gonna finish this off here. 10. There you have it, homemade popsicles. I'm gonna pop this in the freezer for about four hours. I'll go ahead and check it at that time, but if it has not frozen completely, I'm gonna go ahead and give it another one to two hours. So until next time, go ahead, give this recipe a try, and we hope that you enjoy. Don't forget to 
like and subscribe to our channel and comment to let us know how your popsicles turned out. Have a great rest of your day. Bye members.